man. You gotta get yourself ready for these costumes. I've probably never looked cooler. Everybody's costume is so unique. They're so fun to see everybody dressed the way they are and to walk around like this is what we're doing today. With DC, I think they allow designers to come in and, and create a vision with them. This is something that has never been seen before. The interesting thing about Black Adam, it kind of all goes back to Egyptian art. We wanted there to be the textures that kind of showed the writing of the ancient language of Kandak, and we also wanted the costume to reflect his journey. So for us, that was incorporating his elements from being a slave, and how do those then transform into superhero? Yes! One of the big elements was obviously the lightning bolt. When he becomes the champion, there's kind of like a middle version where it's this bigger symmetrical bolt. And then when he becomes Black Adam, it becomes even bigger and more pronounced. Dwayne becomes the champion in white and gold. And then when they kill his son and family, that rage kind of encompasses him and he becomes black. When I tried on the suit, I hated it because it had all the uh, muscle padding in it. You put on a suit, a superhero suit, and it is padded. It actually takes away all your hard-earned muscle that you have worked hard for. So they went back and they applied their mastery, and we finally came back with a suit that formed around my body. He revealed his body to us. I mean, it was just incredibly huge, which made our job easy because we don't need to do anything with the costume. He already is the costume. They found a way and a, and a fabric and material to do it, and it fits Dwayne so beautifully. And the very first time I put that suit on, it was unforgettable. Because in that moment, I became Black Adam. Born out of rage. Hawkman is also one of the great costumes in the superhero pantheon. Hawkman's outfit was probably one of the most complex ones. It needed to look very strong, but at the same time be very comfortable for the actor. We used a combination of different looks from Hawkman throughout the years, tried to give him like the classic strap with the logo. Aldous was amazing. When we first got together, he showed us like what was in his head, and we showed him what we'd been working on, and it was actually very much on the same page. You needed to make sure that, you know, you had a costume that could lend itself to the athleticism that it took to do these fight scenes. So working with the team, it was pretty cool just to see the process. I think it still feels kind of a Egyptian and kind of art deco in a way, and I think we were trying to figure out how do we interpret this idea that nth metal could, like, create anything? So how, how his costume and armor could grow from a simple shape and piece. So I think that that's, like, where we started with these simple shapes and the idea that they could repeat and repeat and create these big armor pieces. And then the helmet, once you get on that helmet, everything changes. You know, the helmet we started before anything else, the helmet's really beautiful, but this is all really Egyptian, this kind of like falcon wing motif here, which we were able to bring in here, which was great. That's a very ambitious costume and Kurt and Bart knocked it out of the park. We knew from the beginning that Dr. Fate was going to be a CG character just because of everything he needs to do and the magic involved. He's always floating, he's hovering. The cape is reflective and showing reflections of future. The helmet, there's, there's so much into it that we realize that going about probably a full CG way. To create my character's look, it's all digitalized. I have to get into this ridiculous outfit, which is covered in white dots. It's tight, it's gray, it can be highly embarrassing, but thank God I grew up in the theater and worked in the theater, so I can step out there, hold my head high. Hopefully they will make me look magnificent as Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate is such a unique vibe. When Pierce puts on Dr. Fate's wardrobe, it just immediately informs the character. 
for Dr. Fate, the most important thing was the helmet. One thing Jama is really adamant about is he hates symmetry in things. I remember him saying early on, he said, I want to be able to go 360 around this helmet and it always looks different. I made the choice to not put any eyes on Dr. Fate. I imagined that if he's magical, he doesn't need eyes. And I could use the clean face to basically use for reflections. It's a beautiful, elegant, kind of mystical piece of alchemy and armor. You see the silhouette and you see him out there and it does have a power and an elegance. Look at that suit. It's cool. Thanks. You too. Thank you. And they have two new recruits, Adam Smasher and Cyclone. So these are my like street clothes. I love Cyclone's like clothes. I think she has just like a really eclectic style. And I just like the, the level of play that Cyclone has, even for her hero costume. There's an element of play with it. You know, her outfit is very free flowing because she has to manipulate the wing. So we didn't want her outfit to feel unstructured. Making body armor for female superheroes is a totally different thing. The Cyclone character, we didn't want it to be super hyper-feminized. We wanted it to feel like, you know, practical and tactical. Right. Let's roll! What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey! I'll be right there! So this is Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher is, again, very classic, almost taken from the comics. We wanted it to kind of have a classic superhero vibe to it, but also a little bit retro. My Uncle Al, I get his super suit. So he, it's a hand-me-down, it's a, it's a pretty vintage suit, but it looks sick, dude. Noah's funny, I mean, he came in like a puppy and was like, he's really sweet and excitable, and I remember the first time after we met him, he was like, we're gonna have so much fun, guys. And he really meant it. I think my suit is like the coolest suit of the groups. And I'm not just saying that. Like, if someone else had a cooler suit, I would say they don't. I am so sorry. Was that expensive? Me and you. When we get back to the ship? Yes, sir. Me and you. You're really lucky if you get a chance to introduce something completely brand new. Everybody knows how difficult it is to do superhero outfits. You know, they don't just have to look good, but they have to look good on the actor. There's a lot of expectation from the fans. We really wanted to give the fans kind of the, the real core, you know, kind of spirit of the characters, but also bring something different and fresh. And they found an incredible balance. The costumes that they've designed are so cool and badass. We made a movie that we can be proud of. We made a movie that people are gonna respond to and love.